The 2024 Red Sox are exceeding expectations as they enter August with a 57-50 and 50 record, sitting just two games back of the final wildcard spot. They managed to do this despite a substantial amount of injuries to key players such as Trevor Story, Vaughn Grissom, and most importantly, young slugger Tristan Casas. When Casas left the April 20th game against the Pittsburgh Pirates after the top of the first, Many wondered just what had happened to the young, charismatic first baseman. Things would only get worse, as it would later be revealed that he had a left rib strain that would keep him out of action for the foreseeable future. The next day, he was placed on the IL and only 22 games into the season, and the Red Sox were already without three-fourths of their projected starting infield. At the time, it looked like it would be rough to replace the offensive production of Casas, as the slugger had been hitting 244 with a 344 OBP and an 857 OPS. Not to mention his six home runs at the time were huge for a team that was in need of power. To fill the hole at first, the Red Sox would try an assortment of Bobby Dahlbeck, Pablo Reyes, and Garrett Cooper to man first base. There were even talks of lefty killer Rob Refsnyder possibly learning some first while on his own rehab assignment in Worcester to try and help support the parent club until Casas returned. Romy Gonzalez would also get a chance, but injuries forced him on the IL for part of April and most of May and June. None of these options worked out, however, with Reyes playing only two games at first and being designated for assignment on April 29th after struggling to hit 183 on the young season. Bobby Dahlbeck also struggled, bouncing between Worcester and Boston while only hitting 133 with a 217 OBP. While his offense was a black hole, he made several great defensive plays for the team while on the field. Unfortunately, a better offensive option was needed if the team was to stay afloat. That was when Garrett Cooper was brought in on April 27th. The first baseman was supposed to provide stability, having just hit 270 in a small sample size with the Chicago Cubs. However, Cooper never got going in Boston and was designated for assignment after only 24 games where he slashed 171, 227, and 229. That was when one player finally took hold of the position and made it his own. Dom Smith was brought in May 1st after being released by Tampa Bay and was immediately put into a platoon at first, getting most of his playing time against right-handed pitchers. Smith, having previously played seven seasons with the Mets and Nationals, was an interesting addition as he had been unable to previously crack the Rays roster. A career 246 hitter across six seasons with the Mets, Smith was coming off his lone season with the Nationals where he slashed 254, 326, and had a 366 slugging percentage. All of that to go along with a 722 OPS. And as recently as the month of April was hitting 267 with a 337 on base percentage and a 375 slugging in 21 games for AAA Durham, he was seen as a serviceable first baseman who could help hold things down until Casas could return. His first month with the Boston Red Sox was not the prettiest from a statistic standpoint, only hitting 198 with a 278 on base percentage and his OPS being 562 across 26 games. The bigger problem was the lefty also struck out more times than he got hits, having accumulated 19 strikeouts to only 16 base knocks. However, as the calendar flipped to June, Smith appeared to begin to heat up. His average jumped to 231 for the month, and he cut back on his strikeouts, lowering them to 13, while his OBP also rose to 342. Likewise, his OPS was now sitting at 711, which was more respectable for the month of June. But it wasn't until July that he began to dominate. Smith truly helped the Sox offense in July, slugging to an average of 290 with an on-base percentage of 355 and an OPS that got all the way up to 921 for the month. In 24 games in July, Smith delivered 10 doubles and continued his impressive two-out hitting. Through the season to this point, Smith is hitting 263 with a 337 on-base percentage when there are two outs in the inning. But that doesn't end there, as he's also hitting 257 and getting on base at a 366 clip along with a 737 OPS when he comes up to bat, two out, and at least one runner in scoring position. Along with those stats, he's also driven in 11 runners in those situations and managed to help steady the offensive production while Casas is working his way back. On the year as a whole, he's hitting 237, getting on base at a 322 clip, and his slugging is 400 along with a 722 OPS across 72 games. Along with that, he has 6 home runs, 33 RBIs, and has walked 24 times compared to 53 strikeouts. There's no denying that offensively he isn't Tristan Casas, but Dom Smith stepped up in the need of an option at first base. 
Did I mention that he's also a decent pitcher? With the Sox out of a couple games by quite a bit, Dom Smith walked to the mound to help preserve the bullpen. So far on the season, he's pitched in two games, performing admirably by throwing two shutout innings and only surrendering a single hit. Defensively, Smith has been serviceable in his 65 games played at first this year, committing seven errors on his way to a 984 fielding percentage. There's no telling how much longer Smith will remain with the Red Sox as Tristan Casas began a rehab assignment with Worcester earlier in the week. There's a chance he could stick around with the club once Casas is activated, but there's also just as much of a chance that he's also DFA'd in the coming weeks. Regardless of how Smith's time in Boston continues from here, one thing is certain. He helped stabilize a position where the other options weren't able to. Thank you to everyone who watched this video until the end as it means a lot. I know my uploads aren't always consistent, but I hope to get a couple more out before I return to work in the fall. Personally, I would love to be able to get a video out at least once a month, maybe even twice a month, but with how I am, I hate trying to promise anything since I feel I can never follow through on it. Though if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like, comment, and even subscribe to the channel as I do plan to get more videos out at some point. Thank you and have a nice day.